Watch the TV is presented as a combination of news and entertainment. The theme of Hamas rising up against Israel is a near constant undercurrent. In this video, Hamas attack Israeli targets, then sneak back into the tunnels and return home as heroes. This video is from like nine years ago, but what we're going to do today is we're going to show you guys an interesting video. The things that the kids in Gaza, the Palestinians in Gaza, are seeing and have been seeing since Hamas took over. The station is used to broadcast messages directly from Hamas leadership. In the first days of the conflict, the group's spokesman encouraged Gaza residents to act as human shields, saying, quote, do not comply with the war of rumors and psychological warfare that the Zionist enemy is waging upon. That's what we call human sacrifice and child sacrifice. That's nothing different. I mean, a religion that tells you to offer yourself or your children for that particular god is child sacrifice it's pagan history repeats itself if you read the bible i mean it's right there for all intensive purposes it might have a new name but it's the same thing alexa's news anchors also towed the party line how many children has hamas killed zero the anchor says how many women has hamas killed zero yeah right how many children has Israel killed? Over 400. How many did they hit? Thousands. Saying later, all of the martyrs are civilians. All of them. al aqsa began to broadcast in Gaza in 2006, shortly after Hamas won a landslide victory in Palestinian elections. They, I mean, that was a victory, but I don't think, I mean, a lot of the citizens dislike Israel, but I don't think it was like a fair election. They're like, here you go. You know, we're not going to force you into or pressure you into any vote. I mean, Hamas, uh, you know, killed their opposition. So obviously, I don't think it was like a fair election. Not that America has that fair of an election, but that's a whole nother conversation. In 2007, they garnered international scrutiny with this children's program featuring a Mickey Mouse-like character named Farfor, who was killed by an Israeli interrogator. That's traumatizing, like to depict an Israeli as the person killing like Mickey Mouse to like these kids. They're probably like sobbing. But this is nothing. I'm going to show you guys. I don't know. They're probably not going to sh show it to you, but I'm going to show you guys a full episode of what these kids are saying. It's pretty similar. It's very disturbing. Beyond the clear Hamas propaganda, al -Aqsa TV also broadcasts from the field. They're often first on the scene of airstrikes, broadcasting some of the most searing images of this conflict. The Israelis say images like these are themselves propaganda, an effort by Hamas to garner sympathy around the world. I mean, every, I think every country has propaganda but like this is like next level what's a spectrum obviously there's there's propaganda and then there's like favorable news if that makes sense uh, you know news that has an inherent bias that everyone kind of knows but this is like next level and part of the reason israel targeted al aqsa's headquarters saying in part al aqsa was used to quote incite Palestinians against Israel and to, quote, transmit orders and messages to Hamas operatives. Yeah, and I mean, Al-Aqsa and Jerusalem, that's a big thing. I mean, they kind of surround their whole, pretty much their whole religion around it in Gaza, and they name everything that, and they rally around it. They called the attack on on October 7th, Alaska flood. So what I'm going to show you guys is an episode of this bizarre TV show, and it's like just blatant. And let me know what you guys think, but let me just show it to you guys. We must not allow the Jews to destroy it. Not the Zionists, not the Israelis. You have this is the thing. I think where we get lazy with the terminology, but this is synonymous. You know, a lot of people around the world, oh, you know, they they just want they just don't like the Zionists, they just don't like the Israelis. <laughs> That's not what they're saying. That's not what they're programming these kids. Someone had to write this. Or even worse, these kid this kid's already programmed and they're responding off cuff. So it's just something to think about. The Jews. So you Jews out there around the world that think like you're safe, oh, you know, as at least I'm not a Zionist, you're a useful idiot. So we must so we must fight the Jews. We must not let them enter Alaska Mosque. Like imagine like an American kid, like even me, I I've lived in Israel, I've lived in America. Like this type of programming being like your, you know, your looning tunes, your morning breakfast cartoons. This seems silly to us, but to kids, like you know, they don't know any better. So you start to see these images and start to think that these things are ridiculous. But I mean, when they're being told this. Mm -hmm. 
do you love the Alaska mosque or do you like your daddy more? And this is their news channel in Gaza, Palestine, sending this to everybody. This is the only you know TV show that they have on TV that they have access to. I mean, what does this say? What are you willing to do? Do you care if your you know if your dad tells you not to, or you know your your dad has to put his life on the line for a mosque? Not for again, not for Allah. You got to think. I mean, we, we I'm kind of brushed across this a little bit about the pagan paganness of it. You know, the 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 sacrifice of it, the child sacrifice of it. I mean, they're talking about loving a mosque more than their dad. ولا بتحبي ولا بتحبي بابا اكثر ولا من بابا كمان ولو احنا تايش شرائع الدين وتمسكنا بالدين if we would abide by the sharia's and adhere to islam okay they understand sharia at a very young age شرائع الدين وتمسكنا بالدين وصلينا الفجر and we, if we'd be one i'm just going to read it so you know in case people are listening to this if you would be this is one of the kids if you would be one nation and we would pray Dawn prayers in the mosque. Palestine would surely be liberated, right? Of course, firstly, we must obey Allah and we must pray in the mosque. Again, and you it starts to and this is news to me, but it starts to make sense why this is, you know, such an emotional thing. I mean, they don't know any better. They think that they're just being captive and everything. Just the Jews fall, and you know it makes sense the how brutally the the attack was, and because they've been programmed since birth to you know think this way. Of course, surely first we must obey Allah and must pray in the mosque. We and we must return to Allah and pray, right? And we must wage jihad. This is like a parody of a parody. Like this is one. This is just awful. These kids have no chance. I mean, they're being told by by adults they're doing this show, and then they see this on TV, and that their parents have probably kind of agree with it, unfortunately, and 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 you know are probably not skewing them away. They probably may not have the best education, and they're saying we must wage jihad. And jihad, he said, "Allah." Jihad for the sake of Allah in the pinnacle of Islam. The jihad, هو إيش يا فكور؟ أها هو السلام الإسلام. Dear children, we must also know that the criminal Jews are plotting. The criminal, not the criminal Zionists, not the criminal Israelis, the criminal Jews are plotting. So for all you Jews out there, I'm going to repeat, repeat this again. You don't understand what you're dealing with. This is sad, of course, but you got to understand the type of, you know, adversary you're dealing with. I mean, these kids, they don't know any better. You know, they think all Jews are their enemy. So you must address it with the level of seriousness. They're digging tunnels under the Alaska Mosque. In order to, I forgot, what, what do they want to build? They want to replace the Dome of the Rock with the Tem, the Tem. Sorry, this is so funny. The Flesh Temple. First of all, I'm I'm like I'm a, a bit aggressive. I mean, I think Israel. You know, I, I grew up mainly in America. I think Israel can do whatever the heck they want. I mean, they they control the area. They can tear it down if they want and and do what they want. Obviously, they're not going to do that. They're trying to normalize relations with other Muslim countries. If that wasn't the case, I think they would have already torn it down and, and built the the new temple. Um, but it's just funny how they're taking things and just putting every ounce of fear into these kids. And just making them just think of and just be paranoid. And this is like very formative years, right? They should be thinking of very simple things, but they're being forced into this level of propaganda. <laughs> One day, nothing is going to remain under the Alaska Mosque. <laughs> what do they do? What do what do they want to do? The children want to know. What is the Zion entity plotting? See, they use this synonymously. You got to be careful. They use the Zionist, the occupation, the Zionist entity, but they also say Jews. Oh, you're, you know, I, I don't like Israel, the entity, but I'm for my people. But I, bruh, they, they're, you're a useful idiot for them. I'm telling you. <laughs> they want to build the false Solomon's temple, as you said. زي ما بيسموا أو هيكل سليمان المزعوم كما قلتم يعني طبعا هذا الشغلة نأكد. I want to stress that this is not true. It never existed, and it will 
never be built. <laughs> this Hobbit's temple never existed. Oh man. غير صحيح أو ما إله وجود أصلاً يعني وما راح ينحط كمان إحنا موجودين. وف... As long as we Palestine in the Alaska Mosque are here. فلسطين موجودة راح نضل نرابط إلى آخر قتل. We're going to stay in Rebat to our last drop of blood. Oof, for a kid, man, these kids are just listening and watching this, and you know, already talking about risking their blood for this for this cause. زي ما في ليه؟ that we are going to defend it with our blood and our bare chests, Allah willing. I mean, this is like diabolical, like evil villain type of stuff. I mean, let's not forget that we have been fighting for years for the sake of defending the Alaska Mosque. Martyrs sacrificed themselves for the sake of the Alaska Mosque and for Palestine. Okay. And what did that get you? And all of these sacrifices, what, what is that going to get you? <laughs> martyrs, as we all... I didn't know they actually spoke like this in public. I thought it was like some secret stuff, like martyr jihad. You know, I didn't know this was like things that they're comfortable talking about on TV, things that they're comfortable talking about with kids. I mean, I feel sorry for these kids. They have no chance. <laughs> and prisoners as well, right? People were sent to prison or exiled. <laughs> yeah. I mean, pretty disturbing stuff. I mean, this is like level of propaganda that is beyond overt. I mean, this is, I, I, there's another word for this. This is like psychological programming. I don't even think propaganda is a, a fair term here. This is, you must die for this cause because it's so important. And they talk about Alaska, which is weird because it's a location, right? I mean, you can have a, an area that's very important for your religion. Obviously, all major religions do. But the way, the amount of emphasis, obviously, in Islam of the actual locations, you got Alaska Mosque and um, Mecca and stuff like that. It's just a very, very peculiar, peculiar. And then also the the child and human sacrifice element of it. You know, this is a whole nother religious conversation. But again, they talk about Jews, Zionists, occupation. They don't care. They, it's not what you think it is. There's no distinction. You might have the distinction in your classrooms, in your universities. That conversation may be happening and you think that they're on your side. I'm letting you know that's not the case. They will subjugate you in the name of Allah. If they're willing to do this in the name of Allah, you, you don't think they're willing to do the other things? It's part of the religion. I mean, I, I'm not an Islamophobe. I love everybody, but there's just some realities we have to address. If you want to catch the next video, click right here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace.